Does your work really speak for itself? In this video, I wanna walk you through how to use your past projects and leverage them to win more of your ideal projects and clients in the future. Hi guys, JP from this video, and today I'm really excited to talk to you about the big question, and that is, does your work speak for itself? Um, and there's a much broader idea I wanna to bring to that question today. Um, it's something that I've been hearing a lot of lately, and it's, the, the, it's a discussion that I am constantly having with a lot of builders um, who, especially maybe those that are a bit older who, or who have been mentored uh, or done their apprenticeship under you know, someone much older, where definitely the work spoke for itself, um, absolutely. And I think maybe in previous generations, uh, you know, they didn't have the tools we have today in terms of getting the message out there. And so really all you had was word of mouth, uh, and that is still powerful. Uh, and so therefore all you had was your work. You did an amazing job and that work did, and to some extent still does speak for itself. But today I wanna to emphasize a much more important message with using the tools that we have today is it's not so much about, what well, it. let's treat that as a foundation. The work speaks, speaks for itself. Obviously ethically, you wanna make sure you're doing the best job possible. And if you're an ethical person, you want to do the best you can and deliver the best outcome for your client. But when people, and especially builders, start talking about, well, I have, I'm such a, a detail-oriented person, and I go to the nth degree, and that's amazing. But at the end of the day, you and, and maybe some of your trades are the only people who are going to really appreciate that level of detail. Now, I'm not saying don't go to that level of detail if that's what you're passionate about and you want to deliver that. And I think ethically, you know, you should be if you have that capability. You should be, um, but also be looking at the for the research that we've gone, um, that done, and what we've heard more value um, translated to the client is gonna come from the journey that you take them on. And so what I wanna really emphasize to you guys watching this is are you communicating that journey? Are you communicating the transformation that you've taken the client on? Um, now, I would say, I mean, a lot, sometimes guys might compare themselves to you know, builders that don't do any marketing. And, and we have builders that come talk to us and they, Interesting enough, the guys who don't have to do any marketing, um, we speak to a lot of those guys uh, because they understand that they never want to rest on their laurels and they never want to just rely purely on word of mouth. Um, but I mean, one guy we're talking to at the moment, you know, he's got two years booked up, no problem. And he wants to come jump on board um, because he understands communicating. And this is something we see outside of the building space as well, is communicating all of the value that you bring to a project, not just the physical project itself. So the big thing we hear consistently is, uh, and you guys I'm sure would agree with this, is it's all about the clients, uh, com clearly communicating client expectations. So therefore it's important to understand and clearly communicate expectations at the start, communicate throughout, um, maintain those expectations um, or change if they need to, communicate that and then deliver, if not over deliver on those expectations. Now that's an ideal journey, but how much of that are you actually communicating? How much of that are you putting out there? The biggest, biggest thing is Again, coming back to my work speaks for itself, that's great. But if no one knows you and no one knows your work, how is it actually speaking for itself? Now, I'm really talking to guys who here, maybe you've started your business in the last five years um, and you're just getting going. Um, or really, a lot of guys, maybe you've been doing this for 10, 15 years, but you just can't get out of the where you're at. Maybe the type of projects you're doing or the type of clients you're attracting. Um, maybe longer, maybe you've been stuck there for longer. Um, but also you know, the guys who are starting out and are really ambitious and want to grow, um, or have a you know, big goal of what they want to achieve, say in the next five years, or they've got a five year goal. Um, it's really important to communicate all of the value that you are bringing to a project. Don't just post pretty pictures of the final product. Um, yes, I would say one of the biggest things, if you want to go, let's go, what's the minimal viable solution to this? Uh, photos at least be capturing the photos of before uh, a bit during but then also after um, a step above that would be some of the big things here some of the big big things would be definitely communicate to your audience because this is where you guys bring value communicate what the client wants what that shows when you communicate that to your audience is it shows that you listen and you understand and someone out there who, who's going to a prospective future client will read or watch or see a photo uh, and resonate with it and go, well, that, you listen to that client in terms of what they want and they wanted X, Y, and Z, and that's exactly what I want. Okay, well, great. And that ticks that little box in the head. And then you want to look at, well, why did they choose you? Communicate that to your audience because what that's going to do is then go, well, that's why they chose you. Okay, 
I'm also looking for that in a builder. And they also were looking to achieve a certain outcome. That's the same outcome that I'm looking for. It's just ticking more and more boxes off and it's growing more and more. Their perceived value of you is more and more. Uh, because if you just keep, again, posting pictures of um, pretty, pretty product, um, being you know, the finished renovation or addition or new home, they're just seeing a pretty product. And there's a lot of builders out there. Any builder can take great photos of a pretty product. You've got to communicate the value that comes with you. Um, the next thing then, so we've looked at the, uh, what the client wanted to achieve, why they chose you, and then communicate the journey. So really communicate, this is where you can bring your value to the journey in terms of, well, these are some of the challenges that we, we came up against and this is how we overcame them. Really emphasizing yourself as the specialist, um, as the authority, um, and as a solutions oriented person. And then the outcome. So what's the transformation that you were able to create for this person? And not just, again, the product, but what, what about their lifestyle? How have you changed their life because of what you've created for them? Um, that's really, really important. So that's the message I want to bring to you guys today. Um, I try to make that as concise as possible, um, but really emphasizing in, don't rely purely on my work speaks for itself because then you're purely relying on that, uh, say that client you built for and hoping that they share the word, they spread the word about how amazing you were. I would say leverage what you've been able to achieve for them there, capture that and get it out there to more people. Go and get more awareness, go and get more people to be aware of you and make sure that they then become, educate them and they become aware of how you can help them. And so they see you as the solution. So then coming back to your work does speak for itself. Yes, but also communicate a whole lot more. Communicate where all the other 95% of where you bring value on a project. Hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, would love to uh, answer them. If you guys uh, have any thoughts or feedback, anything else that I've missed, or maybe you'd like me to talk more about some of those things, please uh, put the comments below or reach out. And if you'd like to have a chat with us and, and find out whether what we do and how we help our builders would work for you, I uh, would love to jump on, we call it a strategy session or a discovery session. And it's just conversation with me and you to find out more about your business, where you're at, what you want to achieve, and then see if that's something that we can help with. Uh, if we can, great. I'll give you all the information to make a very educated decision. And if I don't think we can help you, I'll be pretty honest um, and maybe point you in the right direction. Uh, but either way, you'll leave that conversation with a really um, good understanding of what is needed and a lot of clarity in terms of where you're going and how to get there. Anyways, chat to you guys next time. Bye.